We're going to turn our bicep. Now, part of the club movement, we rotate just back and forth. This is the movement our swing is based on as our lead bicep rotates and closes the club face. This is actually a micro movement that we're going to work on. It's really small, but it's really important. I want you to notice what happens. Roll this up so you can see it. Got my bicep here. Elbow is pointed at the target. Hand is relaxed. So is my arm. Now I'm going to roll this bicep or this elbow toward my stomach. Notice what happens to my hand. It rotated also. Do this with a club face in your club in your hand. What do you think happens? It rotates closed. This is the primary movement we use to close close the club face. We're using the big muscles, which are more reliable than using your wrist and your forearms. Worse, look what happens when we just turn our wrist and our forearms. Yeah, that will close the club face, but the elbow remains pointed at the target. And as you may or may not know, leaving your elbow pointed at the target is one of the primary causes of chicken winging. Because if your elbow is at the target, you're going to hyperextend this joint, and the body, to protect itself, is going to bend it. So what you want to do, what you need to do, is turn this elbow joint towards your stomach. But since it also closes the club face, there's no reason to get these involved at all. So here's the exercise we're gonna do. Like I said, it's a micro exercise, but these little exercises are the building blocks for the bigger ones. Just put your arm on your chest. You want the elbow pointing at the target and just roll your bicep. You're using your big muscles, your shoulder, and your bicep muscles to turn. You are not these muscles. Your forearm and your hand are completely relaxed. Just roll your elbow. Just roll your elbow down so it points at your stomach. And that's the exercise. What I want you to do for this exercise, come up to the hitch and rod position. You don't need to turn. Take your lead elbow and put it in that little pocket in the middle of your chest and just roll that open. Okay? Think of this pocket or this crease in your elbow. Think of it coming from this position, which is where it is at the lead, and just rolling open. Okay? Notice when I do that, I'm going to relax this hand completely. It's here, and I just roll it open. When I do that, the glove face rolls closed. So just roll that elbow. It's a bicep and shoulder movement. I don't want you using any muscles below your elbow at all. Not one. It's a shoulder and bicep movement. Those are the muscles. Just take this and roll it open. If you want to, try practicing it without even a club in your hand. Roll it open. Roll it open. Roll it open. Roll this crease open. That's the movement. So what, what I want you to do, take the club in your hand, just go hitching a ride, take your elbow and put it in that little pocket in your chest and roll it open. That's it. Roll it open. Let your other hands relax. Let your trail arm relax for the moment. Let your wrist and your forearms relax. We're just focused on that elbow and rolling it open. Okay? Bring it into that pocket and roll it open. The 
if you can learn to do this, you'll be able to close a club face every single time. And because you're using your big muscles and not these little fine-tuned muscles in your fingers, you'll be more consistent in where you close the club face to. When you start using your hands and your wrists to try to close the club face, you're never going to be consistent. That's why, you know, that's why the crossover has a terrible reputation for being inconsistent. Yeah, when you're doing this, you're always going to be inconsistent. We're going to work on your follow through now. Remember the motion for your arms. It's fold, unfold, and refold. This is your follow through. You just refold on the other side. It's important you learn this motion because if you don't, it will impact your ability to close the club head. Or it's fold and unfold, but you've got to let it refold as well to get the club head fully closed. So we're going to do an exercise you've already done before, hitching a ride. But we're going to do it with your lead arm. Just take your arm, put it across your chest, put your hand on your bicep. Hit your ride. Hit your ride. Hit your ride. It's very important that you learn how to do this. Your follow through is important in the origami golf swing. Now that we've done the hit your ride exercise or the reverse hit your ride, I'm sure you know what's up next. It's the two handed reverse hit your ride. Take your hands in your club. Like this, with your lead arm this time, hit your ride. Hit your ride. Remember in origami golf, the backswing and follow through are really mirrors of each other. On the backswing, you fold and you unfold. Fold and unfold. Follow through, you refold. Let's fold, unfold, refold. Notice what my trail arm is doing. When it comes on the unfold, it straightens out and it remains straight during the follow through. Fold, unfold, refold. Obviously, the actual movement is a little bit more fluid, but you need to learn these little movements or micro movements. So when you're in action, you're not getting in the way of these movements. You can actually assist them to make sure they occur. So again, the movement that we're going to be practicing, just put your arms in front of you. Be doing it standing up straight and just hit your ride. Hit your ride. Again, this is my lead arm. This is, we're working on your follow through. Hit your ride. Hit your ride. 